Hello, today I would like to present you another monster from the Witcher Old World board game. It's a Foglet uh, level 1 monster, as you can see on the reference uh, card. It's got kind of have a kind of like a greenish uh, blue uh, skin. Then in his tummy there, there is a big hole and it looks like a bit of a light fire coming out of it. Then on his fangs we're gonna uh, we're gonna highlight them very much and then again uh, the the wee light coming from his eyes as well. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this video. Stay with me and we're gonna go step by step through painting of this creature. As you can see in the picture there are a few holes in the model that you might need to cover it. One in the middle of his tummy. So I use the green stuff to cover it uh, up uh, just a little bit and then I put the grey uh, primer on, uh, on the model. For his body uh, I use the mix of the Stormbearing Pure from the Citadel and the Dark Sea Blue from Vallejo and we're gonna cover the whole foglet uh, apart from the hole uh, on his uh, tummy area. Next we're gonna switch to the Scrag Brown from Citadel and we're gonna cover the surface of the base obviously apart from the uh, rocks and other elements on it but you don't have to be so neat at this stage uh, you can do it as fast as you can there's lots of things on the base so uh, keep going I have painted all the rocks with the pure German grey and then we're gonna do a bit of a dry brushing with the different uh, shades of grey and finally with touch of the ivory as well. Now we're gonna switch to the Avalanche Sunset and then the Piston Red. The Avalanche Sunset we're gonna use to uh, paint all the leaves that you can find on the base and then the Red Tone, the Piston Red, I'm gonna use to paint the, the branch uh, that is lying down on the base as well. As you can see I mixed uh, red tone with the scrag brown that we used for the base earlier on just to have a kind of reddish brownish uh, tone and we're gonna use this color to, to paint, paint that uh, branch, single one branch that is lying down on, in front of our foglet. Next we're gonna use the screaming school to paint a uh, few bones that lying down uh, underneath our mini. And I have backed our pure Mephisto red to paint his uh, mouth. Once we have this done, we're gonna paint his fangs and we're gonna use uh, the screaming skull uh, for this purpose. So 
at this stage I'm trying to be um, precise and not to go over our red uh, mouth or the skin color. And finally we're gonna switch to pure white and we're gonna paint the hole in his uh, belly as well we're gonna use uh, the pure white to uh, to paint his uh, eyes so our basic colors uh, are done and we're gonna switch over to do some shading first I put the Agrax Earth shade on the base uh, itself. I covered the whole lot, uh, including the leaves, bones, uh, rocks. Uh, so, as you can see, everything is covered with the Agrax Earth shade. Obviously, don't overload it. We want to have uh, some details visible uh, before we put our highlights. As you can see on the video now, there are two uh, marks from the manufacturing on the base as well. Uh, I decided to cover uh, them with the grass uh, later on, but if you want to have a pure base without any grass, you might need to cover it, for example, with the uh, Armageddon dunes, uh, which have a kind of like a sandy effect similar to, to the base. Now we're gonna do the shading of the uh, foglet itself, so I'm mixing uh, the black uh, uh, noon oil from Citadel with the green uh, Bieltan uh, in the proportion of two black and one green and we're gonna cover the whole mini again apart from the uh, uh, hole in his belly and then be careful with the face as well not to cover too much on his uh, mouth or eyes for the mouth uh, as you can see I put the red tone from the army painter so this is how the mini presents so far and now we're gonna do a bit of a highlighting so I started with the uh, screaming skull again just just to cover it uh, those bones that are lying down on our base. Next I'm doing the highlighting of the wee branch, so I'm using the original mix of brown and red that we uh, have used uh, earlier on to paint it. Uh, and then switching to uh, pure brown and later on I will add a little bit of yellow uh, to, uh, to it just, just to do the, the final, uh, final touches on that wee branch. Next we're gonna highlight our rocks, so I have used the Storm Vermin Fuhr and we're gonna do it by uh, dry brushing, so initially uh, I did uh, pretty rough, so I put quite uh, a bit of that uh, paint uh, uh, on the first layer and then I have added a little bit of the uh, ivory from Vallejo just to have a kind of nice uh, bright grey color and then you're doing it gently in, 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 on the top of the surfaces and finally I have done the pure uh, ivory in that case uh, uh, you do it only one direction and literally touch the, the very top of those uh, stones Uh, 
Okay, so this is how it looks so far, and we're gonna do a bit of a dry brushing with the red, uh, the Mephiston red on the leaves. We want to, I want to have them uh, look uh, like an autumn look, and I don't want them to stand out from the base. I want uh, that everyone focus on the on the on the figure itself rather than rather than on the on the on the base. Uh, now I'm uh, painting. Uh, there is a couple bones, uh, like a couple ribs, that are uh, clearly visible on the edge of his hall. So I put uh, because we're gonna put in, we're gonna be putting more, more color on that white. I want them to uh, stand out a little bit more. So I decided to put a, a pure Mephiston red on every bone and as well on the edge around that. Uh, that hole in his tummy. I want that edge to stand out a little bit more later on when we're gonna put the, the yellow and orange tones uh, on it. So put a wee line around it and highlight those uh, ribs. Now as you can see I put a bit uh, more white on the eyes. Uh, when we put the wash uh, uh, they uh, they disappear, the, the, the white disappear a bit, so we want them to be uh, flashing uh, on us, so we're gonna redo them again with the white. Just a wee drop. Now uh, we're gonna uh, do a bit of highlighting on the front of his body, uh, so I add a little uh, bit of a pink tone, it's a screamer pink, so I'm mixing this uh, Pink with our orgi original mix uh, of uh, uh, of grey and uh, dark sea blue, and we're gonna do uh, all the uh, all the muscles, everything that's standing out uh, in front of the mini. Uh, so again, you know, avoid uh, covering any recesses. Just focus to to highlight those uh, areas. Uh, that you can see that the light uh, might uh, uh, cover them and again with this color tone as I said earlier on I will be doing on the front of his body then at the back we're gonna uh, switch to more greenish uh, tone but you can see that later on If you think it's necessary, you can always soften the transition of those colors with a cleaned up brush just to make the, the transition a bit more smoother. Just to brighten uh, that tone further, I uh, add a little bit of the Screaming School and again we're gonna cover uh, those areas. Uh, just remember just to cover uh, anytime you go further, uh, the smaller and smaller area uh, with every layer you're gonna uh, go for. And as you can see now, I'm brightening this tone a little bit further just to do the 
the final highlights uh, for the front of our foglet. So this is how our foglet presents so far and we're gonna switch back to do the, some highlights in the back. We're gonna use the Hexbrack Flame, again mixed with our original uh, tone that we, we paint uh, the body. Be careful, this is uh, technical paint so it's, uh, it doesn't have the consistency as the base or layer and your paint might get watery. So make sure you have the right consistency before uh, you apply uh, an extra dose of that of that paint. And again, we're gonna cover all the uh, exposed areas uh, uh, and except except the deep recesses. Our next steps will be adding a bit of the Avalon Sunset to. Uh, to bright uh, our green tone further uh, and again we're gonna uh, repeat uh, the steps and do the further highlighting with our uh, brighter, brighter tone. And again for our brightest tone we're gonna add a little bit more of the yellow uh, to our green and do uh, the, the, the final uh, highlighting in the most exposed areas. And finally to blend all those uh, colors and to have a bit uh, nicer transition we put very 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 thin uh, layer of the Hexrack Flame so remember just touch the brush with it remove the excess we want to have uh, the brush to be a little bit uh, wet but do not cover it with the paint again it's not the dry brushing so we we, we want that uh, we want to have a little bit of that paint uh, and gently, gently cover uh, the mini with it. So this is the effect we got so far. And uh, next we're gonna switch to our uh, turquoise uh, blue, the color is called Sote Green. And what I did, I uh, did a bit of a stipping here and there. I don't want to have that blue uh, in any particular area I just want to have the spots uh, here and there uh, just to have that kind of a green and bluish uh, effect uh, so literally uh, dry your brush firmly leave a little bit on the top of your uh, of your brush and then step here and there just to have that uh, nice effect Next I uh, have done the dry brushing on the surface of the base with the Balor Brown. Uh, 
and just to finish the base the troll slayer orange we're gonna do a bit of a dry brushing on those couple leaves uh, so they're gonna have a kind of a nice transition between that uh, yellow red uh, and the orange In our next step I'm switching to the Bad Moon Yellow and I'm uh, this is contrast paint so I'm painting the the eyes uh, all over it just to have that nice glowing effect. Later on we're gonna put a tiny tiny white dot uh, just to have that uh, glowing effect finished uh, but at this stage just cover uh, cover the eyes walls and then we're gonna painting the the belly the hole in his belly actually so we i'm covering pretty much everything with this uh, yellow contrast uh, tone uh, i decide to leave a nice white dot uh, in the center uh, so it will bring that kind of uh, fiery lighting uh, effect uh, a little bit further so start it, once again start with the with the uh, bad moon yellow and then we're gonna be mixing uh, a little bit of the troll slayer orange uh, with it and finally we add a little bit red to it as well so now as you can see uh, i'm adding a little bit of the of the orange and then we'll be mixing uh, uh, the Bad Moon Yellow Contrast Paint with the regular layer, uh, it worked for me. Uh, so you remember to use your uh, dry palette, the wet palette, don't like the contrast paint. Uh, it's go through the paper so it might destroy the sponge underneath. So on your dry palette mix a little bit of the, uh, of the yellow contrast with the tiny bit of the orange and cover the edges of that hole uh, maybe a little bit more than the the edges itself but we not cover the whole lot we want the nice transition from white in the center to a little bit yellow further down and then to have the orange on the air uh, on the on the outer rim and then finally we're gonna add a little bit uh, red on the edges Now, as you can see, I'm using pretty much pure uh, orange, uh, and again, as I said earlier on, it's the it's the outer rim. So we want to have that uh, we want to have that a uh, bit darker. And now the the red tone, the Wild Rider red, and again, tiny bit of the of the orange, uh, sorry, of the yellow, just to. Uh, break that pure red uh, a little bit but it will be far darker than the uh, than the than the orange and again with this i'm covering only the only the only the edges you might go a little bit outside of the of the uh, of, of the hole itself to the bottom now as you can see i'm mixing the the uh, yellow and uh, and the orange uh, color on the dry palette with my dry brush uh, uh, brush and then I will be covering his uh, legs uh, and the base itself anywhere that you can see that that light from his uh, from his tummy uh, might go down then uh, this is this is the area that you want to to cover with the kind of uh, dark, darker yellow color. Now the white, uh, as you can see, I <coughs> I co I cover too much of the of the white itself, so I just do a bit of a correction later on to have that white dot the center representing the center of the light that the light comes from. And again, tiny, tiny dot on his eyes uh, 
they were painted with the white initially and then covered with the contrast yellow so now we're gonna do the nice uh, bright uh, uh, dot that to have that kind of reflection uh, and again the highlighting with his uh, uh, teeth with with the pure white uh, just just to have a bit of more contrast uh, on his mouth and to have that more of the dangerous look next as usual uh, german gray to cover uh, to paint the rim uh, of the base uh, I usually paint uh, the models the same way in one box, so all my monsters will have the German grey. And we add, we're gonna add a little bit of the uh, grass, so I decide for those two colors, so we're gonna put uh, uh, one piece of that grass, one piece of that yellow grass, and uh, one piece of the brown grass in behind. And again, I cover those uh, those markings. Uh, on from the manufacturing on it uh, once again the screaming skull back again to the dry brushing and I cover a little bit on the of those rocks ju just a tiny bit and a little bit on the grass just to represent that light coming down from his uh, tummy and this is the mini ready and painted I hope you enjoy watching this video, I hope you like this mini and I hope you like my painting. Uh, if so, please give the thumb up and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you don't want to miss uh, another monster from the Witcher Old World or maybe a different board game. So once again, thanks for watching and I should see you next time. Take care, bye bye.